Hi everyone, thanks for joining us. We are gonna look at some April makeup favorites. I'm gonna put these on my channel. If you wanna see our skincare favorites, they're over on this lady's channel, which is Ruth. Hello. No way, let's cut that bit out. Why did I go? No, that was fun. Hello. I think we should keep it and keep this bit as well. Why on earth would I ever go, hold on? Oh, what is that voice? Oh, I've never done that in my life. <laughs> well, that's good. Isn't you? I'm so busy listening to your brilliant introduction. Not so brilliant, really, because really, you were clearly distracted. That's no, really good. Fine, should we carry on then? April makeup favourites, yeah. April makeup favourites, right. Do you want to go first? No, you go first. Okay, but you can't look at what I'm doing. It's Chanel. My Chanel? <laughs> my channel, you oh nut my job. God. Right, okay. <laughs> I'm, and we're going to surprise each other. We haven't discussed, so they're hidden, you can't see. So my, should we have some more caffeine after we've done the video? My first one is Estee Lauder Sumptuous Infinitive. Oh, I've not tried Infinite. that. Infinite Mascara. Have you not tried it? No, is that what you've got on? It's very luscious. Have you also got false lashes on? No. Oh. No. And very nice. I'm bald with the lashes, because no, I recently, okay, I recently, <laughs> <laughs> just put that into context. I recently had some of those nice eyelash extensions. Right. But they stick, they, they glue onto each individual. Properly glued on. My head in. They look great, but I like to cleanse rubbing my eyes. Mm -hmm. So that didn't last long. Yeah. So as a consequence, I got a bit annoyed and may have picked. This is giving me eyelashes back. Has that got the serum inside that makes them grow then? Is it supposed to be? No, that? don't think oh, so. Right. It says daring length and volume mascara, but it does have, you can't see on the brush, we'll try and do a close up later. It has a round bristle and then it, can you see it's like a comb? Yeah. It's very good. I like that. No, your I lashes like it. do look very, very good and you've got lots of them. I don't have a mascara in my little lineup. What have you got first? First thing is actually a really affordable and cheap thing. Shock horror. Shock horror. Which I bought off Feel Unique. I did a little bit of a, a budget buys splurge. You on did a mood, didn't you? But we don't use that word. I haven't done it yet, but yes, I am planning one. Thank oh, you yeah. for that. Uh, You're welcome. Little spoiler. This is uh, the L'Oreal palette in Nude Lingerie. Ooh. That's what made me buy it, because I like the name. I can't get the bloody thing open. <laughs> That's okay. It's, right. it's designed to be a test. Um, what can it all do? I just chucked that thing out. Oh, why did they put these in? What's I the don't point? know. Carry just on. give me more, just Carry give me on. more shadow. Beautiful. Um, and have I got this on today? Yeah, I have. Very nice. I mean, it's barely their makeup, but it's all really blendable and really nice and just a good one to have in your handbag. However, I wish that people would put mirrors in the lids. Yes. I know Ditch that it's the brush, put a mirror in. Exactly. Save that money yeah. and put the mirror in. Beautiful. So I love that. Next thing. Number two. Number two is... Charlotte Tilbury, the retoucher. Stop it. That was my next thing. What colour are you? Two. Oh, number three. I didn't know that they did three. I thought it was two shades. No, 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 no. I think there's it's three. This is my favourite ever concealer-y highlighter. Do you know highlight. how much I like it? And I bought this. I want that to be clear. I right. went to the t and, and it was an upsell. Yeah. So I went to get the foundation and she went, oh no, sit down. <laughs> and basically blatantly, you're gonna be here for some time. Basically, blatantly said, I think you need a bit of a touch at work, and proceeded to put it all over my face. So, oh, thanks it. for that. But I almost don't even want to play with it because I don't want to waste it. But it's beautiful, and you just it's the typical twisty, as demonstrated by our beautiful model, <laughs> and blend. And blend with the thing. It's just really what I like, it's not drying at all. Really soft and it yeah, it doesn't do that skin. awful slip, slippy thing. Right. And you don't get the, lines. and you don't get cracks. You know when you get the yeah. cracks, that's not it's attractive. It's just brilliant. So Charlotte Tilbury, hats off. Me. We love you. Yay! Oh, so I've done my number two. So it's back. To, oh, it's back to me. Oh <laughs> God, it's like pictures. Done my number two. So my Cut number three. My number three is YSL. Uh, gloss Volupte. There's a lot of Voluptes going on. I really like that. It smells They're nice. They're gorgeous. They smell nice, which obviously shouldn't be your first port of call when choosing a lip gloss, but I, I like the applicator. It's a trowel. <laughs> so I, yeah. Trowel it on, love. Yeah. Mm. But I like this because it's completely non-sticky. Mm, non-sticky. It's like that balmy gloss texture, isn't it? It's sort of, yeah, I'm really sophisticated and here's my YSL gloss. It's oh, look, I haven't got a lip gloss either and I'm feeling a little bit... I've got, I've got bit envy. Bit things envy. No, because my third thing... Okay, go. ...is this Lancome Concealer. thing, which you've already seen me... Playing with. Using. So I, I was using this. 
But this is a new thing that's for under the eyes and you have two different types of concealer and then a setting powder. Setting powder doesn't really seem to have much coming off, which is maybe intentional. It's not really very powdery. But this is one of my new favorite concealers, this middle one. Play. It's quite soft. It's really soft, but it doesn't crease underneath and it doesn't, well, it doesn't budge if you set it. So that must work. That must but, be what it's for. Yeah, exactly. But um, I'm kind of, I've got my own sitting powder, so I normally just, yeah. with that, that's really good. And it gives you a little guide about where to put Helpful. different things. Helpful. Can I have a look see? Yeah. Excuse my fingers. It's so nice and creamy. So I've it's got a question as well. You know corner. they did the, was it, oh God, not Renegy, the one that had the eye cream and there was a concealer on the lid. Oh yeah, Visionaire. No, Visionaire. No. Oh, what's the, Genifique. Yeah. yeah. Genifique? Oh, one of them. Anyway, they do a brilliant... They do an eye cream with a brilliant concealer on the lid and the feedback I've had from people, especially mother, is that she wants to buy that concealer separately. Yeah. So I will find out and see if maybe this is... Well, I think one's it's very much, similar. The dark colour is thicker than the lighter colour. Did you notice that? No, I didn't notice Look, that. This is quite thick. This one's really soft. Oh, um, yeah. Okay, you're welcome. That's more like one of the Laura Mercier secret Secret Oh, I've got that in here. Got that in here, but we can't oh, yeah. get it. The middle one, the softer one, is the one that I've been wearing most. There you go. So maybe that, I know what it is. That one might... Well, see, it's supposed to all be for eyes, but that one could be used on spots. Oh, no, it tells you. Look, there's a little thing in the lid. It tells oh, that you where we could it's read. supposed to go. Mind. Make our own way. One. The only place that one goes is there, apparently. Because it's a skin concealer. Dark circles. Yeah. Beautiful. Well, you don't have any dark circles, so well done, Wonkum. Thank you. Marvellous. Okay, is it fourth, me or you? Fourth, thing. fourth. Yeah. So my fourth is a more affordable lip gloss that have been on the blog recently, mm. which I'm a bit obsessed with still. Victoria's Secret. <laughs> oh, that is what? so not what oh, I was expecting you what to What did you think it's going to be? I don't know. It's just I just can't Why imagine not? you shopping for makeup in Victoria's Secret. It, it was an accidental purchase <laughs> that turned into a long time love affair. Their t-shirt bras are very good. Oh no, I Don't get them out. No, no, I wasn't going to. I was just seeing if I Wait, did have it on. I am wearing a Victoria's Secret bar, as yeah. it But there's no need to go that far. No. But this is Loveberry, and they've just repackaged. And I went in I there this look. week, please. I went in there this week to stock up. Last week. Oh, see, that was nice. See? Went in there to stock up, and because they've repackaged, it took me 10 minutes. And with Victoria's Secret, the pain is they put the, all of the makeup is near the tills. So you're surrounded I'm by so people surprised queuing. that you like Why? that. I because it. it's like sticky old school gloss that your hair sticks to. <laughs> kind of. I like it. But so. I like it. I like that you That's my surprises. number four. And also, here's the best bit. Mm. I got when I did that first video with Sam and Nick. Yeah. I very naively just took everything I'd used that day, which turned out to be incredibly expensive. <laughs> right? So constantly I get you use too expensive products, you never use anything that's affordable. These are four for 20 quid. Oh, that's good. It's so. probably the same as the pants, isn't it? In the one for 20 quid. I don't think so, Sam. Really? No. It's not no. expensive in there. Yes, it is. Is it? Especially if you've been to the ones in the States. Oh, well, that's, I've only ever been to one. I didn't know there was one here. Well, where did you think I got this from last week? The States. I wish, no. We're about to have fun on war. Bond people, Street. People are going to be cringing, like, oh my God, don't fight. Oh no, no fighting, no. Bond Street, darling. Doesn't your hair stick to it? Do the hair test. Bit? But it was really pathetic, wasn't No. <gasps> that is the Victoria's Secret, all for 20. Boom, go. What am I on, four? Four. Oh. Oh, I've got this. From the depths of makeup depravity to... <gasps> How very <laughs> dare you. This is gorgeous though, come on. It is gorgeous, I've got that. This took me a long while to work out. I thought this was just for eyes, this lilac-y mm. shade. So but actually, cool? if you sweep the brush all over them, that counteracts dullness. I've kind of made this decision myself and not yeah. actually read anything official. However, I sense it's an eyeshadow, but carry on. No, because Max Factor have done these CC cream sticks, all yeah. in different colours to different counteract colors. different things, and they have a lilac one to counteract dullness. Mm -hmm. So why would that not work? In a well, as long as you get a fair sweep of the brush, otherwise yeah. you'll look like a rabbit with mixed mitosis. Nice, no purple, no, no mixing with And I did start and end on the purple, so I love that. Beautiful. I just love Erin stuff. I love Erin stuff. Very nice. I have that, but I don't want to use it. I want to keep it. 
Thanks. No, I'm having a hot flash. I love this brush too. Thanks. Oh, no, we can, look, should we just have a, a minute to divert? <laughs> Oh, real Wait. techniques. Real techniques, echo yeah. tools. That's my bronzer applicator. And this one, again, some talk about something you don't want to use. This is Wayne Goss. Beautiful. And yeah, don't want to use it because it's too pretty. And I've got this one for when I'm out doing the little handbag jobby. This oh, it's so pretty. Type thing. But it's so pretty, look, and it's so soft. Is that putting on powder for creamy things? Oh, I wouldn't. I never use these for creamy. No, I don't. But you can. I don't. You can, but the, I don't understand it. So. Stiffer type. And I've lost the lid. Wait, I can't get away. Very chic. My number five. Oh, number five, yeah. Is Erin. Ah. See what I did there? Fines. It is, oh, um, an incredibly long name. Erin Pretty Bronze Portable Illuminating Powder. And they fat, they, they Very fat, they, fat, they fatted. <laughs> they fit all of that onto that. That's quite. Half of it did disappear into my makeup bag because a certain Ava Hirons did this. <gasps> yeah. So be careful, keep it screwed on, but it's, Gorgeous and gorgeous light colour and not too orange. I can't do orange. No, not too orange. But that's my number five. And very chic looking as Beautiful. well. Obviously. Not that that should matter, but no. My bronzer is my. Oh, you got thing. bronzer too. Obsessed with bronzers. Yeah, but this one's quite pale. This is sunlight zero two one. That's I'm a nice name. That's not illuminating. Lift no, up everything it's powder bronzer. Sunlight. Um, I've been using a version of this since I was in secondary school. So we're probably going Three back almost ago. 20 years now. No. Yeah, 14 I bought my first Royal Bronzer and I'm nearly 34. Wow. So there we go, long term favourite. Very good, well done. So that's that. Well done. Thanks for watching. We will do, we're doing skincare favourites on Ruth's channel. We are indeed. And then some other bits and pieces and surprises. But if you liked looking at our bronzers and incredibly long named products, subscribe and we'll see you again soon bye oh that was perfectly timed so you just buy and then you spoke straight away you won't be able to edit that well, no we can keep it in oh okay bye oh that was perfectly timed cut oh <laughs> and now we can keep it all in yes uh-huh channel uh-huh are you gonna say anything other than uh-huh yeah i am like elvis <laughs> <laughs> I just get something great. It's so nice to have someone else talking, and I don't have to do it. But I'm like, it's nice to have different. someone sitting here and not have me going. Oh, I'm gonna it's talk like to you know when you're having your hair done and you just zone out. Okay. It's so nice. Can you zone in though? While we yeah, I'm zoned in now.